Today we are going to be reviewing a new function in Excel called XLOOKUP. Please support this channel by hitting the subscribe button below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. XLOOKUP is currently available to Microsoft 365 subscribers. Use the XLOOKUP function when you need to find things in a table or arrange by row. With XLOOKUP, you can look at one column for a search term and return the results from the same row in another column, regardless of which side the return column is on. XLOOKUP is a new amazing function. It's amazing because it's easier to use and will help you search for data in a timely manner. It replaces the following functions. VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, match, index, and lookup. As mentioned, XLOOKUP has really simplified the data search functionality. It comes with some great features. It has five arguments and the last two are optional. Number one, lookup value, lookup array, return array, match mode, and search mode. So the lookup value, this is the item used to find the match in the lookup array. The lookup array is the area, the array area you selected to search for the lookup value. It is used to retrieve item in the return array. The return array contains items that you potentially want to look up. It must be the same size as the lookup array. match mode. The great thing about XLOOKUP is it defaults to an exact match. You also have three other options. Exact match or next smaller item, exact match or next larger item, and a new feature called wildcard character match. So the wildcard, you can replace any single character with a question mark. So for example, if you're looking to search up all the names Smith and had different ways of spelling it and you weren't sure which way it was, um, you can put a question mark in for the third character and it'll pull up Smith spelled with an I and a Y. Asterix can replace any number of characters. So for example, if you put Asterix East, it will come up with all of the um, names like Northeast and Southeast where there's characters in front of the east. Search mode is a cool parameter that allows you to search by first to last, so from the top down, and last to first from the bottom up. You also have two binary searches, so sort from ascending order or descending order. You can even combine XLOOKUP functions to be even more powerful and I'll give you some examples of that at the end of the video. Let's do a walkthrough now on some examples of how to use XLOOKUP. So I created a table here and what it has is a broken down sales by rep, the name, commission, and then the sales per month broken down. So I wanted to do an exact match lookup Use an X lookup, type in Excel, and now I can double click on the function name. I'm going to select the cell where I want to look up. So I'll type in this cell here, click on it for Sally, put a comma. Now I want to select where I want to look up that value. So I'll highlight this area here. And now I need to select where to look up the return value. So let's say we're going to look it up for January. I like January. And again, these need to match. And I hit enter. And again, it defaults to exact match. So Sally in January, she did 16,322 sales 
and you see it returned that value. Uh, if I go to Mike, you can see that it changed and it is correct. Now, let's say I type in a name here that doesn't exist on my chart. So Tom, you can see it returned it to an NA. I can actually now control if you see here where it says return and then so if not found a column and I can put a zero. And you can see now it returned it to a zero. I can even change that to a name. So I can say not found. You can see it changes to not found. And then as soon as I type in the name of someone that's on the list, it will come back to the found number. Now, let's say we want to do a horizontal match and we want to look up January. So again, we type in X lookup. Now, we'll type in the value. And this time we are going to drag it across for all the months. And let's say I want to get the value from Frank. So Frank in January did 19,251 and it pulled up that number. And then again, we can change it to September. And you can see it pulled up the correct number. One of the other parameters for XLOOKUP is match mode. So let's look up the commission of 12,000. And we're going to search in the list of commission. And we want to return the January data. You can see it returned NA because it didn't find the number on the list. So what we can do here, let's go back into our formula. We'll need to enter in a number if the item's not found. So we'll just put in a zero and then we'll go into match mode. For match mode, let's put in a negative one for exact match or smaller item. And now you can see it returned 1523 because 11,451 is the next item on the list that's smaller than the 12,000. Let's do the same thing, but this time we're going to put in a 1 under match mode for exact match or larger, larger item. And this time, from 12,000, the next larger item is 12,269, and it returned 16,322. Another great feature of XLOOKUP. So let's look up Steve. We're going to look it up on this list. And this time, instead of just selecting January, let's look up the entire range. And as you can see here, it returned it for every single month for Steve. Okay, let's clear this list. And now let's do a wildcard search. So we're going to type in XLOOKUP. This time we are going to put M 
and three question marks. And we are going to look in this list here. And we want to return the data from January. The item's not found. We will put a zero. And then we'll type in two for the wild card. So what this is going to do is this is going to say, look for the, the name with the letter starting with M. And it has three characters behind it. We'll hit enter, and you can see it returned the 15233. Now I can do the same thing, but instead of the three question marks, I can put an asterisk. And you can see it returned the same data. Now let's try that with an S. And you can see it pulled up Steve, which was 18,254. Now we can even expand this and put in a search mode, put in a call. So we can search, by putting in a one, we can go first to last, or a negative one would go last to first. So let's put in a negative one. And what this is going to do now, it's going to search for the S, and it's going to start at the bottom of the list and work its way up. And you can see it returned 16322. So that's because Sally was at the first on the list at the bottom, and the result was there. As promised, let's look at combining XLOOKUP. So I'm going to start by doing an XLOOKUP for Steve in this list and returning the data from February. As you can see, it returned 20,992, which is correct. This time, I'm going to replace the second array with an XLOOKUP. And the value I'll search up is September. And I'm going to search it up on the top row and return the entire array on the list below. And you can see it returned 22,470, which you can find on the intersection of Steve and September. Now to check this, we can change this to February. And as you see, it pulled it, the data 20,992, which is at Steve and February intersection. And now you know how to use the XLOOKUP function. You'll be able to use this to replace VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, INDEX, and MATCH. If you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up.